Okay, it's a Beretta 71. I picked this up from Classic Firearms. Um, it had the god-awful fake suppressor. Um, they actually did a really good job on the finish on the fake suppressor, so I couldn't tell where the weld was, so I had to actually go all the way around the, the thing to find it, to find the weld, to find the screw, to take it out. The set screw had totally destroyed the threads. So uh, when I had the gun refinished, they also just kind of ground off the threads all together. Um, so unlike most of these you find, mine doesn't have threads. It just has a smooth barrel, which is fine. Um, it's the way you take the gun down, having uh, like a thread protector on here, unless the threads are in really good shape, it'll be a problem because you ha the only way to get the barrel out is to be able to pull it back through the bottom of the slide, and you can't do that with a thread protector on there or um, an adapter if you're going to go from the 1x20 to what this is to the 1x28, which is what normal suppressors use. Um, so I just went with smooth on mine. That's fine. I mean, I, I don't need to run a suppressor on this. I had it refinished, um, gun coat, kind of a greenish. Um, I had shot it before I had it finished, refinished, uh, just a couple of times to make sure it functioned, and it did. It comes with a single 8-round magazine, which... Apparently these things are going for like a hundred bucks. The gun's only like two fifty, but these are like a hundred dollars because nobody can find them. Um, but it does come with one eight-round magazine. Um, I've got uh, the first round of Velocitor. Second round is a Gila 22. I got two rounds of the Subsonic Gemtech, a round of the Winchester Black, a round of the Winchester White, and then uh, two rounds of CCI Quiet, which will not cycle the gun. Um, they don't cycle any um, semi-auto. So here's the Velocitor, and then we've got the Aguila, the two rounds of the Quiet 22, uh, the Black, Winchester Black, Winchester White, and I mean you can definitely see the difference in the ejection and, and kind of hear it. Um, at least live. I don't know if it'll show up on the video or not between those. And now the two of CCI 22, and it's not going to cycle these. No semi-auto does. Um, they're, I want to say, 62 decibels, so they have very little in the way of power. And, you know, nothing came out. Um, but, you know, as far as um, being able to shoot the gun, um, you know, you can shoot pretty much any 22. Just be aware with the quiet 22, you'll have to cycle it yourself. Um, the hold open is inconsistent. It usually does not uh, hold open. Um, so sometimes it does, most times it doesn't. Um, you know, overall though, for 250 bucks from Classic Firearms, and then I paid another 100 to have it refinished. Um, you know, it's it's a nice shooting little 22. It does have a manual safety. It's got a nice light trigger. Um, my wife's only complaint was that sometimes the the casings come back as opposed to uh, eject like they're supposed to. Um, you know, it is a little erratic in that in that way. But you know, uh, if you're looking for a nice little 22 plinker, uh, you might consider, and you want something different, uh, you might consider the uh, Beretta 71.